This is Sherry Boshert reporting for Global Medical News Network. A drug that is useful for opiate dependence and for alcohol dependence may be especially useful for some physicians who are in programs to help them recover from their dependence. Lisa Merlo reported at the American Society of Addiction Medicine on a study involving nal naltrexone in anesthesiologists who are having dependency problems. How many people were in your study and what did you find? We had a small preliminary study that included 22 anesthesiologists or residents who had been referred to the Florida Physician Health Program for opiate dependence. We had 11 physicians who were required to take naltrexone as part of their contract and 11 who were not. The primary really exciting finding was that of the group that were required to take naltrexone, only one anesthesiologist experienced a relapse on opiates, and this actually occurred just following the death of his wife. In the group that was not required to take naltrexone, actually eight out of the 11 physicians experienced a relapse on opiates. Of the three that did not relapse, two of them had left the field of anesthesiology immediately, which greatly reduced their risk for relapse. And the third individual who did not relapse in that group was a resident who actually, when we looked further into it, it was determined that his primary problem was alcohol dependence with suspected opiate abuse. This was in Florida. Do you think other state physician health programs could maybe adopt this strategy or could it be used more widely? Well, again, this is a preliminary study, but the results were quite encouraging. And so my recommendation would be that other state programs would consider this. It really seems to be, uh, it really seems to have great potential to improve the lives of anesthesiologists around the country. And what are your next steps? Will, be, will there be further research on this? Yes, so we actually have an additional study in the works where we're going to be looking at the same thing with pharmacists who have a lot of the same risks in terms of their occupational access to opiate medications, which puts them at greater risk for relapse. And then, of course, the really important next step is extending the research into prospective studies with larger samples so that we can get a better sense of what the actual results are, not just in a small sample. Reporting for Global Medical News Network, this is Sherry Bosher.